Hey guys, welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down and he will do it if you allow it. Good evening to everyone. I hope everybody is feeling good this evening and there's nothing around you that's irritating you, um, negativity, uh, bad vibes, bad auras, bad energies. We're going to rebuke it all in the name of Jesus. Yes, we are. We rebuke it right now. Well, good evening. I hope you like my channel. Please like and subscribe if you already have it. It's some good stuff on here. It's some real stuff on here. It's some stuff that can help you um, when you need it. But anyway, oh, sorry, my allergies is kind of bothering me tonight. But anyway, tonight, uh, uh, this is my last night of um, my little week's vacation. Lord knows I appreciated it and I needed it. And uh, I thank God for uh, putting me in a position to be able to get one. And I, I still got two more weeks of uh, vacation, um, one of which I'll be taking in April for my birthday week. And I'm not sure when I'll be doing the other one, but I'm going to try to make them last, stretch out. Anyway, what I want to talk about is contentment. Contentment, because, you know, uh, back in the day, if I was working a job and I got a weeks took a week's vacation i would have been trying to party it up every day but you know what you know as as life go on and you start to see uh the true meaning of life and the the best way to really live your life things uh that you once thought were really just you know you had to do or had to have you don't feel like that no more you know, even with even with clothes, you know, material things, you um, it you become at peace with uh, what you have, and at peace with you know God is going to continue to bless you with the things that you need. And on my little you know weeks vacation, I just pretty much um, continue to thank God, continue to talk with God. Um, and, 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 uh, just did a lot of praying as I always do and just thanking him for the peaceful days that I had, that I could get up and do pretty much what I wanted to do and, and, and just lounge around, not do anything if I didn't want to. And, you know, my mind wasn't focused on, uh, the worldly things, you know, um, it's just, I, I'm just happy with where I am in life, you know, and I'm, I don't have a whole lot, but by God's calculation, I got enough to take care of what I need to meet my needs, you know, and I'm so grateful to him for that. And, um, I could just thank him every day and I thank him and I pray that he continues to watch over me and continue to, um, feed me all that I need. You know, a person, you know, that that's not content with life, their circumstances include feelings of selfishness. You know, they have issues with pride. Um, a lot of them are uh, issues with vanity. All with, you know, thinking they're the, 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 the hottest thing on land. Um, materialism and idolatry. You know, they idol things and worship things that they shouldn't, you know, and um, most times when a person is, what what is the word, discontent, you know, um, it can also cause like restlessness, restlessness in your soul and your spirit, feeling in your heart, you know, of wishing you want more you know, wanting more, and, and that's the sin, to want more, because you're being greedy. So you have to be patient and let God feed you, like a baby bird, like a baby bird got to wait on their mama, like a baby got to wait on the, uh, their mama's breast. We have to wait to be fed our turn when it's time, when it's ready, when it's right. And, you know, but um, godliness with contentment is, is, a, is, is a really great game. 
you know, um, we didn't bring anything into this world and we're not going to be able to take it with us when we leave. So why be selfish? You know, why let our pride get in the way of helping someone that needs it? But anyway, my topic tonight was just me being anybody being content with where you is, where you are in life and to continue to lean on God and believe that God is going to continue to make a way for you when you don't feel there's no way. You know, the first thing, most first and foremost, we have to believe. We have to believe that he will, can, and does. Okay? And that's just how it goes. You know, you cannot... You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, some people does the most ignorant things, but you just got to look over them. But anyway, being content and just happy with where you are in life, keeping the peace within you no matter what is what it's about and i just had the most peaceful weekend you know um just doing me doing what i wanted to do and and just uh loving on god and allowing him to love on me you know psalms 131 2 the righteous eat till their hearts content but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry. If your mind ain't right and you're not in tune with God, you will starve. Proverbs 13, 25. The fear of the Lord leads to life. The one rests content, untouched by trouble. When you're content and patient and you wait on God, He's going to protect you, and he's going to cover you with his blood. Because he knows you're waiting on him. And so that concludes my, um, my video for tonight. I thank you guys for joining me, and just know that I love you. I do. And please like and subscribe to my channel. It's some really good stuff on here. And, um, you know, it can help you, you know, uh, help you in a lot of areas of your life, my, my videos, different videos. So, have a blessed night. I will be making another video, hopefully before I go to work tomorrow. God bless you, God keep you, and have a good night.